Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw a castle for a chest set. So this is the example of what you're going to be drawing and I'm going to walk you through step by step and how to get this chest piece. So the first thing I did was I went onto the internet and I downloaded a pack of uh, drawings to show how to draw a chest piece. So this is a chest piece with all the dimensions on it and you're going to need something similar to this to draw this chest piece. So to start with I'm going to get the width of the chest piece and the height. So according to this drawing the or the measurements here the height is 75 millimeters. So I'm going to draw a line of 75 millimeters and I'm going to draw the width of this chest piece and the only thing it shows me is 26 diameter of this bottom but it's not the complete bottom of the chest piece so to get the measurement of this bottom you can take the 26 millimeter diameter and add four millimeters for each side because you can see the height of this piece is two millimeters and it's a 45 degree angle so you can assume that from there to there it's going to be two two millimeters as well so for each side you're going to add two millimeters so that makes it four millimeters so the total width of this chest piece is going to be 30 millimeters so now what you want to do is you want to get the height lines for each section or each different piece of this um, chest piece so the first from the bottom is going to be third three millimeters so I'm gonna go into the copy command with C O enter and I'm gonna copy it up three millimeters so the next height it's gonna be two millimeters so I'm gonna copy two millimeters next it's gonna be 8.97 so CO enter 8.97 next one is going to be 1 1 millimeter and the next is going to be 2 and then there's the big height of 34.2 so I'm going to copy this up 34.2 then the next height from there it's going to be sorry just go into the co enter for copy 3.32 and then there's a height of let's just see 2.5 also at a 45 degree angle but we'll get to that now so to go into C O enter to copy 2.5 and then there's the last height of 18 millimeters so those are all the heights of everything you're going to need so let's start at the bottom here so the first line I know it's going to be 45 degrees from that point and we're going to just draw a line at 45 degrees and I got that 45 degree line because my polar tracking is set to 45 degrees. So the next point we're going to have to draw this circle but you have to know a few tricks to draw the circle correctly into place so we're going to need two points at least for this circle so I'm going to need this point up here as well so I'm going to get that height that I've already got here and I'm going to draw in a line of 10 millimeters from the center because the diameter of there is 20 millimeters as indicated so I'm going to draw a 10 millimeter line 
then I'm going to delete that height line because I've already got the height there. So the next step is to delete that one. I'm going to draw a circle or go into circle command by C, enter. And I'm going to type in 3P to, to get three points on the circle. So the first two points I've already drawn. And the next one, you're going to have to use the diameter of 12 millimeters. As indicated here, the radius is 6. So the diameter is going to be 12 millimeters. So that is the third point you're going to use on the circle. So that draws the circle correctly into place. Now you just have to trim off whatever you don't need and delete the rest. So the next line is going to be that one millimeter up. And then we're going to draw another circle, the same method we used down here. We're going to draw another circle as well. So the width of this piece from here to here is 16 as indicated. So I'm going to draw an 8 millimeter line because I'm only using the radius. So now I can delete these two height lines. And now I'm going to draw a circle, same method. I'm going to use the three points. Those two points I've already drawn. And then the diameter of the circle is going to be the third point, and that's four millimeters. And trim away the excess, or the extra pieces. Trim. TR. Enter. And delete what's extra and there you have a perfect circle in place again so now we're gonna have to draw this big circle so you can see the radius is 50 and we need two points so the diameter of this circle here is gonna be 17 millimeters so I'm gonna to go to that height line I've already drawn and I'm gonna draw a line of 8.5 millimeters because that is the radius of that 17 millimeter diameter because you always need two points when you want to insert a circle that you're not sure where the center is so i'm going to go into circle again three points enter use those two points that i've already drawn and now i'm going to enter the diameter as the third point of that circle now i can trim away the extra piece and that extra piece and now I can delete what is the excess so the next one is going to be a bit more difficult because that's also a circle but as you can see it has to have that diameter of 22 to look right so I'm gonna go to the height line get that as a reference point and enter 11 because that is the radius of that di 22 diameter circle so I'm gonna leave it anywhere in the space that they show and for the next one I'm gonna need the diameter of 21 for that height line because I need two points so 21 it's gonna be 10.5 oh I went ski with that line 10.5 and that is the diameter needed there so as you can see I've already created two points to draw the circle on and I'm gonna need a third one that's gonna be the diameter of this radius 2 so I'm gonna enter 3p for three points to draw the circle and the diameter is gonna be 4 as my third point and now I can trim away the extra pieces and I'm gonna stop there because you have to join these two lines you have to join this line and that line to create the effect that the drawing shows us so I'm just gonna stretch it to where the two connect and then I'm gonna trim off the excess
and as you can see it has drawn the effect that is shown here so for the next piece the top piece we're going to have to continue from this point here and as you can see it's also a 45 degree angle so i can just draw that 45 in now i can delete this line and i'm just going to put in something to make this look better because it this is what the drawing shows you should draw but it doesn't look quite right to me so i'm going to fill it this with a radius of 0 0.2 so that just looks a bit better than what we've drawn so the next step is to draw the top of this castle and we can go up all the way and as you can see there's a 45 degree angle there that's one millimeter down so I'm going to draw that I'm going to copy that line down with one millimeter then I'm going to draw the 45 degree angle now I can trim away the extra So next we want to draw this middle piece to create the castle effect. So I know the diameter of this circle in here is going to be 17. So I'm going to draw, I need to get that center. So I'm going to draw a line of 8.5 because that's the radius. And I'm going to go down whatever they specify. And down they specify eight millimeters. So I'm gonna draw it down eight millimeters. And across it's gonna be 17. Now I can draw the 45 degree line again. I'm gonna trim off the extra pieces. So basically we're almost done. We're going to use a 3D command called Revolve to draw this castle. We just have to move everything into place and delete the extra lines that we don't want. So delete those, delete this one and just leave a line to the center of the piece because you need two pieces to revolve around or two points to revolve around. I left one at the top and what the one at the bottom now so now I have to join all the lines so I'm gonna select everything type in J enter to join all the lines now I can see if it's joined and as you can see it is you have to join the lines because otherwise the revolve only creates faces instead of a solid object so I'm gonna select the object I want to revolve I'm gonna select the center which I want to revolve around and it's going to be 360 degrees so that creates the almost the castle so now what we want to do is we want to remove this piece or what's shown here we want to leave the castle effect so we have to remove whatever is still extra so I'm going to draw sort of like a template that I want to take out of this castle so I know 30 millimeters is going to be quite enough to draw what I want to remove and it's going to be seven wide and I'm just going to draw a block for now and I'm going to copy this so I'm going to copy this with CO enter and I'm going to rotate Then I just have to move this to the center of that block. And I'm going to do this with the center points of these lines that are crossing. Then I have to trim away whatever is extra. TR, enter. Now I'm going to
press use the press pull function to get the depth of this piece the five millimeters that is going down as you can see it's less than what was used for the depth of that circle that's going to give that castle effect i'm going to use the press pull function it's going to be five millimeters and i'm just going to rotate this Then I need to get a center point of this object I've just drawn. I'm going to do it with drawing a line over this. And you know that's going to be the center point. So next, I need to move this into place to remove the extra pieces on the castle. So I know it's going to give me a center point if I hover there. Now I can just use the subtract function. So I want to leave that piece behind and I want to remove this from that. And as you can see, it's created that castle. So I'm just going to rotate this up 90 degrees. And as you can see, you've drawn a castle with quite, it was a quite easy process. It's just here and there that you need to know about a function that I've explained. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. See you next time. Bye bye.